Hello friends. Today we will discuss about various functions in MySQL. Today we will see how to uh, round up the value uh, in MySQL, how to round down the value in MySQL, uh, how to generate uh, a random number between a specific range in MySQL and many more functions we are going to study today. So let us begin with the very first that is round function. So this one is going to round the number. Fine. So the query will be like select round and then in bracket I have to write some value like I am going to write 5.31. Fine. So let us see the result of this. So here the result is 5. Fine. So this one has rounded the number. Uh, using a round function. Now suppose I want to round up this value. So to round up this value I have to use one another function that is called sale. Fine. So that sale function is going to round up the uh, this particular value. So this is going to be 6. Fine. So the value has been 6 now. Now the another thing, uh, another uh, term that we can use is sailing also. Fine, sail and sailing both are going to generate same result. So here we got the result 6. Now if I want to round down this value, if I want to round down this value. So for that we are having one function that is called floor. Fine, suppose I am going to write uh, say 6.6. 79 fine so that 6.79 should become a 6 if we have applied round function then it should have become 7 due to uh, the decimal places are greater than 50 but over here we have applied floor function so it will round down the value so let us see the result of this so here we got the result 6 fine so this way we can use uh, a round function, sailing function and floor function. Now uh, let us have the another function that is called random. If we, if we want to generate a random number then we can use RAND function. Fine. Now this RAND function is going to generate a random number. It is going to generate a random number in between 0 to 1 in between 0 to 1 we will also uh, see how can we generate a random number in between a specific range of number fine so let us see the result of this first so this one is a random function which is going to generate the uh, random number in between 0 to 1 fine so here you can see it has been generated one number that is called 0 0.3216 something uh, very long number is there fine. Now let us execute this function again. So it has again generated another random number 04567 something like this fine. Again execute this function. So this one is this one is going to generate random numbers every time fine. Now suppose I want I want only two decimal places with this random number. So I can use uh, the round function in that particular fine. Suppose I have used round fine and if I want if I want specifically two decimal places say rand and then I have to write comma two. So this one is going to keep only two decimal places in the random numbers. Let us click on the go button. Fine. So this one has kept only two decimal places. That is the another use of round function. Fine. Okay. Uh, now let us move further. The very most important that thing that we are going to look into uh, today's video. That is how we can generate a random number in between specific range. Fine. So for that uh, we are having one formula where we are going to use floor function. And in floor function, we will we are going to write a formula like uh, a plus random into b minus a plus 1. That a 
uh, and B are the range of the number fine so it will start from a and it will end up in b so this way it will be able to uh, generate the random number in specific range so now uh, let us see the example of that suppose i want to generate i want to generate random numbers in between 10 and 15 fine so my formula will be like select then floor and in bracket i have to write as per the formula the very first is a so it would be 10 plus random number it would be 10 plus random into what what i need to do is a b minus a plus 1 so b minus is that is 10 minus 15 10 minus, uh, sorry, 15 minus 10, so it would be 5, and then plus 1. So, this, the, over here, it would be like, let me write the whole uh, thing, B minus A, that is called 10, uh, and plus 1. So, this formula is going to derive the value 6, fine, 15 minus 10, 5, and plus 1, 6. So, I have to write 6 over here, and then, let us see what result we are going to get, what random value we are going to get. That will be in between 10 to 15 only. Fine. Let us see. So here it has generated 15 this time. Now 13. Now 10. Now 15. So every time it is going to generate Every time it is going to generate the random number in between specific values. Fine. If you want to say, uh, I want to generate a random number uh, for specific customers. Say for example, in any table, I want to generate some number for the customers. So I can write like select say account number. Uh, I'm going to take only one attribute of this. I can write rend and from table name that is called deposit so this one is going to generate random number for all the customers fine all the depositors now i want uh, a specific say round and, and then random comma three so this one will generate a number using three decimal places fine now let us see uh, the other advantages of having uh, the round function. Fine. Suppose I am having a round function like round and then I am going to provide some number say uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, comma, or 1, 2, 3, 5, dot, 8, 9, 4, comma 2 so this one this 2 is going to round up the number for two, two decimal places only fine now suppose in place of minus in place of 2 i am going to write minus 2 fine in place of 2 i am going to write minus 2 so that minus 2 represents that uh, it will have the number will be generated in multiples of 100. The numbers, number will be rounded in the multiples of 100. If I am going to write uh, uh, minus 1, then it is going to rounded in multiple of 10s. If I am going to write 3, minus 3, then it will be, uh, it, it will be uh, rounded in multiples of 100, uh, multiples of 1000. Fine. So let us see the result of all this. Say I am going to write minus 1. So what will happen over here? This one is rounded. This number will be rounded in multiples of 10. So over here I am having 1, 2, 3, 5. I am having 1, 2, 3, 5, 0.894. Fine. So this will be rounded. This will be rounded in multiple of 10. Fine. So here I got the result 1, 2, 4, 0. Suppose I am having... Uh, 394 over here 
fine so this will be round down one two this one is this one has generated one two four zero fine now suppose i am going to write minus two so this minus two is going to round the number in multiples of 100 so this <coughs> now this will become 1 2 0 0 fine so this has become 1 2 0 0 okay uh, suppose i'm going to write minus 3 so this one will be converted in multiples of or it will be rounded in multiples of 1000 fine so here i got the result 1000 Suppose I am having uh, like 1754, so this one will be rounded to 2000, fine, so here it is rounded to 2000. So this way we can use uh, the round function uh, for various operations, fine. Apart from that, we can have absolute function, this one is going to convert any uh, negative value in the positive one. So suppose I'm going to write uh, absolute uh, 3. So this one is 3. So automatically this one is going to generate the result 3. But if I'm having say minus 3, then this one is this absolute function is going to convert this minus 3 into 3. Fine. Now suppose I want to know the sign of, I want to know the sign of a number fine so for that i'm having one function that is called sign that sign function that sign function is going to uh, give me the sign of a number fine so this one has generated some minus one it is going to compare with zero fine say i'm having uh, say number five so for number five the sign is positive and suppose I'm having say number zero. So for that, the sign is zero, fine. This way we can use various functions. Even we can use the round function in order by also, fine. Suppose I'm having this table. And if I'm going to write, uh, select star from deposit and order by random. So this one is going to arrange the tuples, arrange the rows in random manner. So you can see over here, randomly it has arranged. So sometimes if we want to arrange something in random way, then we can use uh, this particular function in order by clause also, fine. So uh, today we studied floor, round, sale, uh, random, absolute sign and how to generate a random number in a specific range fine thank you very much for watching the video uh, and please don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in the next video